Hello, Acid here, and I figured I'd make a video to help explain this whole link puzzle and how it fits into this 15 over 15 madness and craziness. Uh, so this video is just going to be explaining how uh, everyone solved this, uh, this puzzle concerning link that led to the 15 over 15 discovery. So this entire thing began when link uh, posted a video, and I'll link to this video in the description here. Uh, you can click on that, check it out yourself. But essentially, he's getting a phone call from this uh, unknown number that is calling him every hour on the hour and playing this automated message telling him he has until the 23rd. Uh, he doesn't know exactly what is going to happen on the 23rd, but apparently that's a big date. Once you call the number that Link gives in the video, you'll get a automated uh, message system that plays uh, the following message. Great. So that's the clip that plays when you call the phone number. So this recording that plays when you call the phone number is can be separated into six distinct sections. Uh, the beginning is some weird voice clip that you can't really make out. Uh, it's just some odd audio clip and it's surrounded by two beeps. Uh, after you get past that, there are what sounds like four separate songs that play back to back and they're kind of mashed up together. Uh, after those songs, you get the final clip, which is uh, another weird audio clip. It sounds like possibly a voice, uh, but you can't really make out what it says. Uh, and that's surrounded by two beeps as well. Then the voice message ends and it goes to the, the standard voice message beep where you can leave a message. So let's start with the first audio clip of the message. Uh, if you take some kind of basic standard audio editor, and I use Audacity, it's a really easy, cheap, free uh, uh, audio editor. So I took that, you get the little clip, and I reversed it. You get the following clip to play, uh, which is uh, someone saying, uh, put me together. <clears throat> so. You just keep that in our minds, write that down, you know, whatever, record that as one of the clues. So after this clip, we get into the first musical clip of the message. And when you listen to this, it sounds, uh, it's very distinguishable if you've heard the song before, which I had. Uh, and it's a band, it's by the band called Stars, and the song is called Heart. Uh, the clip that plays, it sounds lo like the following. So then it transitions into the next clip, which is an interesting hip-hop song. Uh, if you do a quick little Google on the lyrics that you hear, you'll find that the lyrics from a song called Plead the Fifth by a rap group called Young Black Teenagers. The problem with this is the music in the background that they're rapping over isn't the same music from the song. It's actually a different uh, song, it's a disco song by Walter Murphy called A Fifth of Beethoven. So these two songs have kind of been synchronized and played on top of each other, but they are two distinct songs, and they sound like this. So after this clip is over, we go into the next clip, 
which is a fairly popular song by a band called Third Eye Blind. It's called Jumper. And that sounds like this if you haven't heard it. And then after the Third Eye Blind song, we get into the final musical clip of this message, which is by a band called Fisher Spooner, and the song is called The Fifteenth, and this is the section that it plays. So after this last uh, music clip that was in the message, we get to the final clip of the entire message. And just similar to the first one, you take it into an audio editor and reverse it. And once you reverse it and play it, you get the following. But I'll never be whole. So that's clearly saying, I'll never be whole. So you take that as another note. So to summarize this voice message up, we have two voice clips and we have five song clips. The voice clips are Put Me Together and I'll Never Be Whole. And the song clips are In Order, uh, Heart by the Stars. We have A Fifth of Beethoven by Walter Murphy. Uh, Plead the Fifth by Young Black Teenagers. Third Eye Blind's Jumper. And The Fifteenth by Fisher Spooner. So the most noticeable pattern about these five songs that we found is all of them seem to have a number in the name. Uh, there's like third, fifteenth, fifth. Uh, they're all numbers, and they're all kind of places. There's there's the TH after them, and the, and the RD, not just three or five. Um, and with the noticeable exception, though, that uh, Heart by Stars didn't have a number in it. Uh, and we never really quite understood the significance of that. But uh, that's a moot point. So then we're left with these two voice clips and how to interpret them. The first one is put me together, and that suggests sort of either possibly adding the numbers together or concatenating them, just string them all together. Uh, and then the second clip, I'll never be whole, suggests that possibly fractions. There are whole numbers and there are fractions, and a fraction isn't a whole number. So that could be a definite uh, suggestion to be fractions. And it would seem like that would be true since it's fifth instead of five and it's 15th instead of 15, etc, etc. Um, so then, once you realize that they're supposed to be fractions, it m would make more sense for put me together to be addition as opposed to concatenation, because it wouldn't really make sense to just concatenate a bunch of fractions. Uh, that's not usually done. Usually you add fractions. So we have a pretty strong uh, idea of what we, we should be doing here. So once we've realized that we need to be adding fractions together, we can take the fractions that we do have, and of course this is excluding the heart song since there was no fraction involved, um, but we can still try it out. So if you add a fifth plus a fifth plus a third plus a fifteenth, it ends up being twelve fifteenths. Um, so as far as the significance of this, we were thinking maybe December 15th, maybe it's a date, uh, but that wouldn't really make sense since we're in July, and that's pretty far off. Uh, so it seems that there's a big part of the puzzle that we're missing uh, with this heart song. So we can, can't really do much now uh, off of that. We can just kind of leave it there. We know that we're supposed to be doing something with fractions, um, and we know that we have these four fractions that exist. It's just a matter of figuring out what the significance of the heart song is. Maybe it represents another fraction. Maybe it represents what to do with the existing fractions that we do have.